Hey guys, so I'm here to do a video on what I'm bringing to the hospital for this little boy. Sorry if the lighting is a little bit off. I've never filmed at night, so I hope it comes out okay. I uploaded my hospital bag video last weekend, so if you haven't checked it out, then click right here so you can watch it and you can see what I'm bringing to the hospital for myself. There's not a lot in his diaper bag, mainly just the essentials and just the things I really wanted to have on hand just in case. I want to be prepared for anything um, with our daughter. She had jaundice, so we had to stay an extra day. So I was really glad that I had some extra clothes, so we were prepared. I know the hospital provides you with some stuff, but I'd rather have our own clothing and blankets and things like that just from home. So this is the diaper bag. We got it for our baby shower from my best friend. Hi, Coco. <laughs> So um, it's the Forma backpack by Skip Hop and we got it in black. I registered for this backpack because I figured now that we have, we're going to be having two kids, it was going to be easier to be hands free when it comes to the diaper bag and I really like the stroller straps which are really convenient and I just think it's not too bulky. I think it looks huge on camera but it's actually not too bad compared to like those other bags that are like totes that you carry on your on your shoulder i had a couple of those with my daughter and they always gave me a lot of like hip pain and back pain so i knew that this time around i wanted to get a backpack this bag has a few compartments it has two side pockets which obviously you could be used for um bottles or just miscellaneous things in the front, it has this pocket where you can probably just put your cell phone. It has like a little extra pocket inside for your cell phone. And things like for yourself, like your wallet and things like that. And then in this bigger pocket, it came with two inserts. One of the inserts I don't have in here because it's like an insulated one, like for bottles or to keep things cold or warm. And then it comes with this one. And all I have in here right now is some triple paste which is like what I swear by for diaper cream. And I also have the nose, the Frida Baby, not the nose Frida, the Frida Baby nail file that came with the, um, the nail clippers as well. I can't get it to focus, but it's just the regular nail file. I know they'll give you nail files there, but I just figured I'd bring it since it's what I'm gonna be using at home. I don't know if I'll put anything else in there for now, and then on this side pocket, I have some alcohol-free foaming hand sanitizer by Baby Ganix. I have one in his nursery, and I figured I'd put one in the bag as well, just in case. Even though when people visit you at the hospital, they usually wash their hands before they even like go through the room. But just in case, I have some hand sanitizer. On this side, I folded up my nursing cover just in case I decide that I want to use it. I'm still a little bit undecided whether I'm going to use a nursing cover while I'm in the hospital, but since I was so back and forth about it, I figured let me just pack it anyway, and then I'll have it. If I want to use it, it'll be there. So I put it in the baby's hospital bag because I figured it's something I'll be using with the baby once he's here, and in my hospital bag, it's more of the things that I'll need mostly before he's born. So I figured it was a good place to put it. Another thing that I really liked about this diaper bag was that inside it's very open. So inside you have these two little inner pockets where I guess you can put um, you can put diapers in here to just keep them steady and then you just have this really open space so you can put like extra clothes, blankets, and things like that. And then on this pocket you have the changing pad. So let's get into what is going inside the diaper bag. I use these plastic bags to kind of like organize everything I'm taking and also to keep everything clean. I did this with my daughter and it was great because I could see everything since they're clear and everything was just kept tidy and it wasn't all over the bag. So, you know, the baby's crying and you're like struggling to find that onesie you really wanted to put on him at the hospital then I know exactly where to find it. So in this one I have basically his essentials, as in like covering wise. I have white socks, I have some burp cloths, I have a bib, just in case, just because we have so many, I figured I'd bring one. I have uh, three hats and some more burp cloths. These are those diaper, like you can use them for um, cloth diapering, and these are just good for wiping anything and just a, a clean piece of cloth 
that you can use for multiple things. So I figured I'd take some of those in here too. And these are just going to slide right into the big pocket of the diaper bag and just be in there all organized. The next one that I have is where I have his clothes and things like that. I have a couple of sets from H&M that I got with my mom like the very beginning um, when I first found out I was pregnant. And one of them is like this little doggy set that comes with um, a onesie, pants, and a hat. And the other one is Batman, which I love and I can't wait for him to wear. Then I have this swaddle pod. I never use this with my daughter, but I heard great reviews. So um, I really want to try it, even though it looks like they're going to be really confined. I think it'll be a good way to like keep their hands on them because I'm not going to take any mittens. I know that like it's really good for sensory development if they don't have the mittens on, but I definitely want to use it for nighttime. Then I also have a couple sleepers with the, the footed pajamas and some um, plain white kimono shirts. These are amazing. I remember with my daughter, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to get more of these. We only had like three and she used so many of them at the hospital just from like getting it dirty that I brought like three this time as well. And then on the bottom I have a, a gown. So this is what it looks like with the two bags inside. I still have some space on the side, so what I'm putting on the side there is bringing these two swallow blankets that we got. And they're the um, Aiden and Anai, a nice uh, brand. These are so soft and awesome. Lastly, I'll be packing some crochet outfits that we got for him for the pictures they take at the hospital in case we do take advantage of the photographer that comes into the rooms. So with my daughter we didn't because she had jaundice and they hooked her up to the billy blanket and I was like traumatized by that since you know first born. And I was like no we can't do pictures she needs to be on this blanket. So this time I'm already prepared that he's probably going to have jaundice too and if the photographer comes I'll just take him out put the cute little outfit on and put him right back in whenever it's over. So I'm hoping it works out, and if not, it's okay. We still have the cute outfits, and we can use them at another time. I also have his take-home outfit that is not packed yet because I'm still um, getting that cleaned. And yes, we iron it, and um, once that's ready, I'll pack it in here. And it's basically just like a onesie, pants, and like a little jacket that goes on top, just so he can be layered up for whenever we leave the hospital. So yeah, that is everything in his bag for the hospital. I kind of feel like I packed a lot of clothes for him, but I know I'll be glad I did in case we have to stay an extra day, or if I'm just not feeling something that I brought, I have other options. And since I have those bags, everything is very tidy and kept together, so it's not, it doesn't look like I packed a lot of things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it gave you ideas on what to pack for your baby's hospital stay. Don't forget to check out my video from last week about what to bring for the hospital for yourself and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch my other videos i'll be doing a newborn essentials video and also baby gear that you just cannot live without video hopefully very soon thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye